looking for a roll in the hay? Not interested. You probably don't know how to please a girl. Which way is north? Oh. Hello, sirs. No. Did I say you could speak to me? Say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. Does like Miss Marjorie? Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose right into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Would Bertram like a sherry? Bertram, like Sherry. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Barkeep, Sherry. Make it the cheapest one you have. Rat piss will do. His pretty dance. My sherry? Just wait, he's making it. <laughs> sherry! You are not in my good books, Bertram. We're in this fix, and it's all your fault, you numbskull. I'm sorry. Bertram, very sorry. That tiny man is a big problem for us. Magnifico is my friend. Stuck in some rat piss town drinking cat piss liquor. Oh, liquor? Bertram, I like liquor. liquor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Master. Hey there. Where my hey, sherry? mister. Just make him a damn sherry, all right? Jesus, he'll bite your head off. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Girl, taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stop. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little no, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No, Bertram, 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 woof, woof. Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, you only eat him. Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Easy, big guy. Bad Bertram. Ouchie. Bertram got a whoopsie. Sit down and be good. There's no putting this off. Give him a whack. Mean man. You don't stop that. Mommy will give you a spanking. <laughs> what 
What do you want it for? Nice. Oh, one lacks a tantrum, mister. What he needs is a good sleep. Knock him out. Stop! Bad boy! Ha ha ha! you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. That's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! who? Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, Marjorie. she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. <sighs> hey, partner, come back here. What the hell? Punish her. Look, you got the wrong end of this. Obscura. Running ain't solving anything. Hey, will you talk? I'm going in alone! She He's just gone. lost his... Big team. Damn. You're starting to irritate. 
What the hell you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. <coughs> oh, yeah, very clever. Oh, <coughs> that's a neat trick. It's steak dinners. Very this good, is. very good. I'm gonna get you now. Come here. Now where you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she as bad as all that. Over here, dummy. Well, you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah, so long, it. dummy. Where are you? You little Really? Really? We're gone! <laughs> Too bad about that train! Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. <laughs> We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Met him at the bar, agreed to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to Mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too?
Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. I helped them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show. <laughs> All right. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest Ooh, dreamer of dreams, right. I have determined the ticket price should be very low, and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true, for it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch. Presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Miss Marjorie's medical miracle, Bertram the Pinheaded Giant! He ain't even as smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for in brawn. Our half wedded Hercules is as strong as a bull. He's sweet as a baby. You, sir, would you assist? Me? Hell yeah! Come on up! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Get out of there! Yeah. Let's see it! <laughs> oh! Yeah. You look like a strapping young lad. I want you to hit him. Right here, right in the bread basket. Go on, give him a real big suck. Look, I don't know. Oh, the only do danger it. is breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? Ah, come, come on, on. Now. Do it, do it! Oh, all right. <laughs> Hey, sometimes he gets carried away. What kind of a two-bit show is this? Your freak nearly killed me. No, 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 Called the Magnificent, and I have tamed the beast. Drop him! Hey, hey, <laughs> God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Magnificent the Magnificent, am a master of apparition. Oh my God! And dissipation. 
fashion. And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration. <laughs> All right. Oof. What the hell is I this? have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, That's it. and escapology. And now for my next feat. I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her frock. This Robbio! What are you doing, you nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up! Amateurs! Go follow your brother! Well, that's our show. <laughs> Thanks, Sandini. <laughs> All ticket sales are final. <laughs> well. Tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my incredible display of dark arts and mystical prowess, my dear. Ladies and gentlemen, now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught petting my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. Oh, I, I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lally Cola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go! Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god, come on! Oh my god! What's going on here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that bit always scares me. <laughs> now. Observe, as I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. 
What is he doing? Christ. Let's do that again. Hmm? All right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm trying huh. to watch the show. I'm Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. Is no one man enough? You need to get another job. <laughs> come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? <clears throat> Take aim. Oh, the fight is too low. <clears throat> and fire. Oh, no, now. Is he okay? Gentlemen, death is just an illusion, after all. Yeah. Yeah. This is what they call entertainment in this town. Satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now. Remarkable woman in the lost jungle. <laughs> Deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes. I <laughs> Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this for dancing girls. <laughs> 